Brenda, there's a lot of uh, thoughts about the right size grip, um, grip pressure, we've talked about that. Give me your thoughts about how people should really view their grips in, in terms of fitting and size for um, everyday players. There's no one way really to do it, in my opinion. Uh, there will be some people that tell you that you, you've got to get bigger grips, you know, bigger is always better, and that's not really my belief. Uh, I believe that it has more to do with reducing tension and still creating the ball flight that you want to see. Mm -hmm. So for me, I play a little bit of a smaller grip, just a, a basic size, 58 round. Um, that allows me to release the club and turn the ball over, and that's the preferred shot shape that I have. Right. If you're somebody that uh, that maybe hits too big of a hook and you're trying to control that hook a little bit, you might want to go a little bit bigger, maybe go a little bigger in the right hand to keep that right hand from flipping the mm -hmm. club over. Uh, but if you're somebody who slices the ball and you go to a really big grip, that's just going to hinder you in trying to release the club. So that's not going to help your game. Uh, right. Whereas some people would tell you that that is going to help your game. So as, as we talked about earlier about players adding tape to their, their their grips on tour and everything, they're really trying to control or, or, or create a specific shot shape. Is that correct? Create a specific shot shape and eliminate a miss. So a lot of guys don't want to see the ball go left. I like seeing the ball go left. So I'm going to be different than, than a lot of other players are. I hate seeing the ball go right. So when I'm missing the ball right, that's when I don't play as well. Mm -hmm. So I want a, a shot that's going to be turning from right to left. Right. And other guys don't want to see that shot. So they may make their grip be a little bit bigger so that they don't see the ball go left. Uh, when we were kids growing up, there was always the thought process is that when you when you got your grips fitted, is your middle finger on the left side of, of your grip, the middle on your left hand, was the only finger that was touching your, the palm of your, the pad of your left hand. And then you actually had your, your right hand on top of that, right? Your, your hands mm -hmm. were on top of the, the club. As a general rule of thumb, do you still like that? I still like that, personally, yeah. Um, it, now, th none of these rules are set in stone, so I want everybody to kind of understand that, that it, it's all personal feel, mm -hmm. and it's all based on shot shape and, and making sure that you're still reducing tension. So you mm -hmm. want to have a, a good connection to the club without creating too much tension and creating the shot shape that you want.